I'm Tom Long from Long Story Short. Today we're going to continue our series on XBMC. If you're not familiar with XBMC, they describe themselves as a media player and entertainment hub featuring a 10-foot user interface for use with televisions and remote controls. I say XBMC lets us enjoy our entertainment media with a beautiful visual interface. But did you know that you can actually change the way that beautiful interface looks? You can choose a style theme, which XBMC calls a skin, to give your graphical user interface, or GUI, just the look that you want. Then under each of the main menu items, like movies, TV, and music, you can further customize the type of view you want. Some users might want a lot of verbiage describing the media. Me, I want some pretty fan art associated with the media, and I want it to be easy to get to my media. There are a number of skins you can pick from. Confluence is the default skin and represents XBMC's own idea of what their program should look like. Simplicity is the skin preferred by the popular website lifehacker.com. Neon does a great job of keeping fan art front and center. XTV SAF borrows the look of an Apple TV making it easy for you or your spouse to navigate. In fact, SAF stands for Spouse Approval Factor. One more skin not covered in this video is Eon. Eon is a good choice for people who want to unlock all of the potential of XBMC. The interface may be complicated to set up given the host of user options, but it rewards the person willing to put in the hours with a media center that looks and acts exactly as they desire. In fact, it is really overkill for the typical user which is why I'm not covering it here. Our first category is home screens. Let's look at the Confluence home screen. The Confluence home screen is colorful, but maybe a little on the busy side. Depending on your settings, not only do you see your main menu choice, but you also see recently added items, sub-menu items, related add-ons, the current weather, an RSS feed as a ticker across the bottom of the screen, and the time, day, and date. Now the neon home screen. <clears throat> the neon home screen is a bit simpler. The focus is on the main menu items. If you arrow up from, from that, you can scroll through the recently added items thumbnails. Like Confluence, neon gives the day, date, time, and weather at the top of the screen. It puts the RSS ticker at the top of the screen also. But to see submenu items, the user must click through the main menu item. Now the home, uh, the home screen for simplicity. The simplicity home screen drops the day and date. The RSS ticker is on the bottom. Recently added items related to the main menu item are in the upper part of the screen. While it is very clear which main menu item is selected, the user will only learn what the other main menu options are by scrolling horizontally across the screen. The XTV SAF home screen shows all of the main menu choices and reveals the submenu items as each main menu item is selected. It shows associated newly added items above the main menu. While it has the time, day, and date, the weather and RSS ticker are omitted. Now let's look at the movie screens. Confluence offers a nice movie view. The fan art is large and the DVD poster art is used to identify the item one is selecting. Neon movies. In neon, the fan art is even more prominent in this view, and some minimal information about the movie is also shown. Simplicity has a movie view similar to Confluence, but the title is a bit more prominent and the movie's ranking is shown. Simplicity also lets you keep tabs on the weather and time in this view. XTV SAF has a great movie view. The fan art is large. The DVD poster is much larger for the selected title. The rest of the posters are smaller, getting them out of the way of the fan art. What I don't like is that the fan art is dimmed. Confluence TV. So now let's look at the TV screens. As in its movie view, the Confluence TV view has large posters across the bottom of the fan art, but still shows us plenty of the good stuff. Neon TV. Wow, 
<laughs> look at how much of the fan art you can see in the neon TV view. The problem here, and I think it's a big one, is that if the logo art is missing, neon puts an ugly placeholder in the submenu. To me, it looks like a smile with a missing tooth. The fan art doesn't include the show's title. One is left to guess what show it is. If there's no logo art, I wish they would just show the title in plain text. Neon is a great skin, but this is a glaring problem, in my opinion. Simplicity TV. The, the Simplicity TV view is similar to the movie view. The fan art is so dim here that one can barely make it out, which spoils it for me. XTV SAF also dims the fan art in its TV view. Really too bad, as it is otherwise quite nice. Often the best speakers in the house are those we use with our home theater. XBMC makes selecting and listening to music a visual experience. The Confluence mu Music View focuses more on words than art, but is still better than using something like iTunes or MediaMonkey to listen to music. The Neon Music View does an awesome job of showing off art even as one is selecting the artist. Simplicity puts the focus more on words, but it is a bit more attractive than the Confluence skin. If XTV SAF didn't dim the fan art, it would be the prettiest view with the square thumbnails used as submenu items. XTV SAF also offers the option of opening the on screen display, or OSD player controls from the contextual menu. Just hit C or arrow left to get to the contextual menu. In other skins, one either has to hit M on the keyboard or move the mouse in the now playing screen. The on-screen display is important because it is the only way to access the shuffle option in most skins. But the super cool thing about listening to music in XBMC is the now playing screen. Once your song is playing, Keep hitting the back button to get to the full screen display. If you have the fan art slideshow add-on enabled, and you should, you'll get to, get to see that fan art scroll by the music information as you listen to your tunes, as we see here in Confluence. That is way cooler than the tired old visualizations of most media players. Just wiggle your mouse to see the OSD. The neon skin also shows the album art for the next two songs, which I think muddies the view a bit, but some people might like to have that information. Simplicity really gets busy showing the album art for the next three songs, the weather and the time. In addition, the fan art is very dim. XTV SAF has a very nice now playing screen with little beyond the current track and brilliant fan art. XBMC also lets us view our own pictures and videos. Here's how that submenu looks in the different in the different skins. This is Confluence. This is Neon. This is Simplicity. This is XTV SAF. In Confluence, there is no additional weather information when the weather menu is highlighted. But open weather and you get a nice snapshot of the weather forecast. Neon shows a snippet of the weather in a thumbnail before weather is opened. When the weather is open, there is not as much information in the forecast. The wind, precipitation, and humidity are left as unknown and unimportant. Simplicity pops up as much weather on the home screen as Neon does when weather is open. However, there is very little more information when the Simplicity weather is opened. I like the graphical overview of the weather that appears on the XTV SAF home screen. But as with Neon and Simplicity, there is very little added information when weather is opened. Any XBMC skin is going to be better than any other competing media player. However, I went with XTV SAF 
for my everyday driver. The navigation is simple and relatively intuitive. Sadly, none of the skins are intuitive with regard to getting to the now playing full screen view when listening to music. It should also be noted that none of these skins supports the lyrics add-on. In fact, the one reason I leave XTV SAF is because I want to have music lyrics so I can sing along with the artist. For that, I have to break out the complex but powerful Leon skin. Each of these skins offers a ton of optional views for each menu item, so this is really only the tip of the iceberg. I just picked these views for each skin because I thought that each of the selected views did the best job of showing the media's fan art. If something else is more important to you, you'll need to repeat this experiment for yourself. But when it comes to ease of navigation, I don't think any of the skins still getting developer support outdoes XTV SAF. Thanks for watching. For more information on this and other XBMC topics, check out my blog, Long Story Short.